She was built to fight, but has been restored out of love by a group of technicians at RAF Coningsby who set themselves the task of getting her back in the air. We used to work uh, our lunch breaks, our tea breaks. We've even used to work the days in between Christmas and New Year when the rest of the Air Force was off. Just love doing it, basically. Just love giving up just something to do, and we ended up giving up our time to do it. Spitfire TE-311 was a fighter plane during World War II, but since then has spent most of her time on a display stand or in storage. When she came to Coningsby 11 years ago, she was tired and rotting but too special to go on the scrap heap, so a group of plane enthusiasts helped to fund the restoration. If you could imagine uh, 20 or 30 old bicycles thrown in a big heap that could covered in rust, that's what it looked like, really. It was just a mess. There was no engines with it at all. It was just, it was just a, looked like a scrap merchant had abandoned it because it was of no use. But today, it did what it was built to do. What started as an idea and a big challenge has proved a success as this Spitfire lands safely after her first full flight in more than half a century. That was fabulous. Couldn't have been better. It's a, it's a brilliant day uh, and it's just an amazing aeroplane. So to be able to have the opportunity and the privilege to go flying in it on a day like today is, uh, is fabulous. But this isn't a one-off. The aircraft will join the Battle of Britain memorial flight and will be seen in public displays from the spring. So after nearly 60 years grounded, she can once again reach for the skies. Tara Welsh, BBC Look North, at RAF Coningsby.